Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dix. Y'all see me with my Waffle House hat on. I'm from South Carolina, still down here. Waffle House was a staple down here. To all my folks in Atlanta, any other state, as you know, when you were younger, you went to the club, Waffle House was the place you went. I actually went to the Waffle House a couple of weeks ago and got um, a waffle. I'm not supposed to be eating that stuff because of the carbs, but you know, the carbs and the hash browns, I had some coffee. So I am a big Waffle House fan. I actually ordered t-shirts and et cetera, and some of the coffee in the mug. So again, subscribe to my channel, share my um, channel with other folks. I am at 1800 subscribers right now. We're continuing to grow. I appreciate the love and support. Again, you can reach me on um, TikTok at Dr. Patrick Dix, LinkedIn, Dr. Patrick Dix, and even on this YouTube channel, Dr. Patrick Dix. And if you can't find me by that name on all three of those platforms, besides YouTube, it'll be King of Automation underscore AI. On Instagram, that's what it will be, King of Automation underscore AI. So I love answering emails and I love when people um, write me messages and ask it, that ask my opinion on things. So we have a young lady named Erica that wrote me a message on LinkedIn and I'm gonna read you some of it. And it's asking about can AI replace teachers? So if you're in the education field like myself, this will definitely help you answer some questions or help you prepare. She says, hey, Dr. D, um, word to the wise people don't like to say dr dix but that is my legal government name on all my ids i'm not making this up y'all will be amazed at the jokes i hear about excuse me my last name so she just said dr d how are you i'm having a conversation with a co-worker who seems to think that ai will not eventually replace teaching jobs which it will it will leave some jobs but i'll go into it we're being trained on how to use learning management systems with students and i can clearly see how this can replace the position of three to four teachers with more than one subject that is true physical books have already been removed from the schools i can attest to this because Many of the classes that I teach, we already use um, electronic copies or we don't have a book at all. Students in our county are using a Chromebook for daily lessons. We are already uh, trial and learning management systems for asynchronous. Let me stop right there. A lot of people don't know the difference between, between asynchronous and synchronous. Asynchronous means there is no interaction from the instructor besides um, doing discussion replies and grading your work. Many of the schools I teach for the work is asynchronous. There is no weekly lecture. If there is some type of lecture, it is pre-recorded by you or by somebody else and the students, that's how they learn. Um, asynchronous lessons during asynchronous at home days in our county, which we are built into the calendar. Have you covered this topic yet? I would like to get your thoughts on AI and online learning and how it can potentially take the place of live teachers in the classroom in the future. Thank you so much and I respect your viewpoints of work. Thank you again, Erica, for reaching out to me via LinkedIn. So what I wanna talk about first is, AI is going to replace some teaching jobs, but not all of them. There are certain fields to where, you know, if you're in the medical field or nursing field to where AI has to still, AI can replace, you know, some of the um, subject matter, but a lot of those jobs are hands-on. Even in the programming world, a lot of things are hands-on. You know, what I did when I first got my computer science degree, programming. Um, one of the other things is when you're talking about the blue collar side of with teachers, you can't have artificial intelligence fix a car. You can't have artificial intelligence uh, fix an HVAC system. It can give you suggestions and help you understand what's wrong, but it cannot physically do the work for you. And those are just the names some of the blue collar fields. But back to the teaching part with Erica and what she was saying, asking. It will replace many of the teaching jobs, but they're gonna be jobs open for people that know how artificial intelligence works. I've said this in so many videos before, artificial intelligence is artificial, which means that it can only learn from the information that is there. So if you have a system in a school that is wanting to teach students that are have bad reading comprehension, bad reading comprehension, it has to learn from some subject, so the subject matter. So that's where you as a teacher would come in and say, hey, I've taught this subject for 15 years, 10 years. Let me be the AI SME to say, hey, this is a better way for me to help the students learn and tailor the lesson because when I went to school and they still do it, I'm pretty sure they do lesson plans. A teacher will plan out the lesson for the whole week. If that still doesn't go on, y'all let me know in the comment section of the video. But students and teachers would know the lesson plan together to know what they're planning out and what they're doing. I'm gonna be honest, the old way of teaching is obsolete. Um, now, even in the classrooms, they have iPads, which I don't agree with. 
there are certain things that students should be able to do hands-on still, as I mentioned earlier, but having a student learn primarily off an of iPad to me is a terrible thing because now they're fixated on technology. Every time they want to learn something, they're going to Google it, which is fine. But when you're a young kid, all you're, all you're going to think about is I could Google, I could watch something versus reading in a book. I'm still old school, y'all. I like to have a physical book where I can flip through the pages, anything. When I order things, I like, to, it's just something about touching a item and being being able to look at it and read through it. And what I want you to realize is technology has taken the education field into a new um, dimension, but you still have a position open for you if you retrain. And one of the notes I made on here, let me look now, AI can tailor the lessons to students. What we're gonna have, have happen is when, um, I was just talking about teachers writing lesson plans, AI can tailor those lessons and make it faster and make it cheaper. And also AI is gonna be able to give teachers a lesson plan to say, hey, you teach this, you teach this, you teach this, you teach that, blah, blah, blah. So that's one of the things with artificial intelligence. It is going to impact the education field. If they can already replace jobs, and I've done previous videos about with makeup artists, with other fields, with um, financial analysts and very complicated tasks, it's going to impact the education field. One of the other points, the Chromebook she was mentioning in here, I don't know if I read that out or not, but I think that is one of the worst things to give students because Chromebooks are very small and you're gonna ruin a kid's eyes and an adult's eyes. I highly recommend these schools get away from these small Chromebooks because they're getting a deal on them and off and switch to something Windows or Mac based, Mac, Mac OS X based that has a 15 or 16 inch screen. And lastly, most of the classes that I teach are asynchronous. So what I want y'all to realize is I go into the classroom, I interact with the students, I actually um, talk to them and I let them know I'm here to support you. I grade the discussions, but there are some schools I teach for y'all where I have to do a week, a, not a weekly lecture, but a lecture every other week. So even the education field is going to, even the education field is going to continue to evolve to where education could be accessible by everyone. But AI in a nutshell is going to eliminate teaching jobs. Now we have to remember, are you going to be one of those people that AI, um, eliminates your job and you can go get another one. What I want you to realize is, if you don't understand how artificial intelligence works right now, it is imperative. You need to get on it right now to learn how AI works, especially if you're a teacher, no matter what your subject matter is, blue collar and white collar. We're computer science, um, plumbers, HVAC, et cetera, nurses, doctors. It, it doesn't matter what those um, sub the subject matter comprise of. You need to learn how artificial intelligence works, but it is going to replace teacher jobs. The thing is, how fast is it? Fast that is fast is how fast is it going to do it? Excuse me. Next year, I've said in 2024, artificial intelligence, the price of the technology is going to go down dramatically and you're going to see a explosion of it fat more. When I say explosion of it, I mean it's going to get even faster. You're going to see more um, examples of it and companies and schools are going to use it. One of the reasons why artificial intelligence is going to replace teachers is, again, we don't have enough teachers. We don't, teachers are quitting left and right. Many of the veteran teachers are leaving and two teachers don't get paid enough money to deal with the headaches that they, they deal with. Y'all see these videos on TikTok, on YouTube, on how disrespectful these students are. And many of these teachers are just tired of it. They quit and they go find them a regular job, another regular job, something to where they can get out the teacher field or transition into something else that is safer. And they get paid more money because as y'all know, the cost of living is very expensive. But to wind it down, Erica, AI is going to replace teaching jobs. It is important again to learn how AI works so you can eventually work with AI to, re to um, create new lessons. As I've stated before, I have created classes from scratch. This is what AI is gonna do. What you can do, you can create the class from scratch and write it out and AI pulls it all into the learning management system, Canvas, Moodle, um, D2L, Blackboard. You know, those are just some of the ones that I've used. I don't know what the schools use, but I think they could use something else depending on if it's uh, elementary or high school or college. But AI is here and it is going to replace those teaching jobs. You must be prepared. My best advice to anyone in the education field is to stay up to date get you some certifications in artificial intelligence, reach out to yours truly for a consultation because without learning how artificial intelligence works and if you're in the education field, 
you are going to be blindsided and left without a job because teachers are um, quitting, schools are closing down, and and school districts are looking for a faster way to teach students to and get the information tailored to them versus paying somebody hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, you know, all of the big salaries in a school district to run it. And I'll go into those videos deeper in the future, but they're gonna cut the workforce at many of these schools when AI can do all the teaching. But when it messes up, that's where you come in as a teacher. You could be the subject matter expert. So if you stay prepared, you will definitely be able to keep a job in the education field. So again, my name is Dr. Patrick Dixon. Erica, thank you again for this qu this question. And again, if you have any other questions, reach out to me at drdixonautomationawareness.com or connect with me on one of the platforms, Instagram at Dr. Patrick Dix, King of Automation underscore AI, TikTok, Dr. Patrick Dix, King of Automation underscore AI, and also on YouTube, you can write me a comment and I can answer. So again, I will see you on the next video. Have yourselves a good one. Peace.